Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today I will show you guys 50 tips and tricks that every iOS 14 user should know. iOS 14 has recently been released bringing a ton of new features and changes to iOS. So I believe these are tips and tricks that will come in handy to every iOS 14 user. Starting things off with the app library. So when you're on the app library and you're searching for an app that has been uploaded from your device, you will notice it will show this little icon right here. This indicates that the app has been uploaded. Now what you can do from here is just tap that little arrow and it will start re-downloading the app to your device it's as easy as that also on app library when you go to the search bar you will notice all the different letters right here you can quickly jump to any letter of course containing the apps that begin with that letter as easy as that just by tapping right here on these letters on iMessage there are a ton of new features as well now we have mentions but what if you write the name of a contact and you have like two contacts with the same name you tap right here and you can see now it will show you two different pictures of course of two different contacts and you can go ahead and choose right there which one you want to mention also now we have inline replies as you can see right here if you want to reply to a message what you can do is just go ahead and double tap on that message and you will get the option here to go ahead and reply to that specific message also when you're on a group conversation you tap right there you go to info and from here you will be able to add other contacts to that conversation one of the coolest features of ios 14 is of course back tap so when you go to back tap you can perform different actions so here with double tap i can launch the control center but you can use it to launch apps as well just create a shortcut from the shortcut app containing which app you want to open and then you can basically go ahead and select the shortcut from here so if i choose instagram you will notice now i have to double tap here and this will open instagram as easy as that i can open any app of course just create a shortcut and then use dub double tap or triple tap with back tap to launch that app on the photos app when you go ahead and tap on the three dots and you tap the share button you will notice that automatically ios 14 will select all the pictures on that album and of course you can go ahead and share them all of them directly from here also you have the zoom feature that we had on the library now it's on folders basically on albums as well you can zoom in and out here of course to quicker browse all the pictures that you have on a photo album and then right here we'll have a plus button to quickly go ahead and add any picture that you want to this album you can also go ahead and tap the share button scroll all the way down and play a memory movie containing pictures from that specific album now on the home screen of your ios 14 device you can quickly move between pages by dragging right here at the dots probably know that but did you know that you can do that on folders as well so if you have like folders that have a lot of basically pages you can go ahead and scroll like this to move between them and you can do the same with widgets as well so when you go to select a widget sometimes an app contains a lot of widgets like this one right here of course you can go ahead and just scroll like this right there at the dots to quickly move between them when on the maps app and you have location services turned off you will get this notification at the top right there now if you tap on it you will have the ability to quickly go ahead and turn on location services on the camera app on ios 14 you will have the ability to adjust manually the exposure just swipe up and this one right here this is the exposure you can go ahead and adjust it from here now you have the ability to do that on the video mode as well so if you go to video just swipe up like this and here we'll have exposure go ahead tap right there and you will be able to go ahead and adjust it as easy as that now you leave it at 0.0, .0 when you want to disable the manually adjusted exposure now at the top right now you will be able to also change the video settings you will be able to do that on all ios 14 devices and of course that's really welcomed on the markup tools on ios 14 you will be able now to add hex color so you basically go right here to sliders and you will be able to add the numbers right here of course and change the colors is as easy as that and also you have the opacity of color right here you can go ahead and choose the opacity with that slider which of course is very very useful on ios 14 of course we have the new home screen widgets which can be used right here on the widgets panel as well but you can still also use the old style widget just tap on edit here and tap on customizations and right here we'll have all the old widgets and you can go ahead and add 
any one of them right here to the widgets panel of course just have the plus button and you will still be able to use them on your ios 14 device now if you have a notes widget on your ios 14 device you can go ahead and tap on a specific note that is being displayed right here on the widget to go ahead and quickly go to that note so here i have three i can tap right there and it will send me to that specific note also by 3d touching on it you can tap the edit button and choose which folder of notes you want to display on that specific widget when adding a new widget you have of course this button right here that allows us to automatically add it to the home screen but it will add it to the specific page where on when you pr press the plus button to add the widget also it will just place it automatically and might just mess up your icons so what you have to do is just tap and hold on it drag it like this and now you'll have the ability to place it basically anywhere you want you can also go to another page or just move around here and place it anywhere you want just like you do on the home screen or on the widgets panel you can also quickly move between cities on the weather app so just drag right there at the dots and you will be able to do that also if you go to the cities you can go ahead and search for any city you want right here and just take a look at the weather on that city without even adding it to the list. So right here we'll have, of course, all the different information. You have a cancel button. And if you don't already have that city added, you will also add have an add button right there if you want to add it. But you don't have to do that in order to take a look at the weather on that city. On the notes app on iOS 14, if you tap that little arrow right there at a folder, you will be able to collapse it. But it has to have that like yellow right there in order for you to do that. Also, if you go to a folder, you can now create a new folder inside that folder so that's a new feature of ios 14 so tap right there and you will be able to go ahead and add a folder within another folder also you can pin notes of course and you can collapse and hide them so just like that you can see i have the pinned notes right there at the top if I want to hide them, I can do that and collapse them just like that. On the notes app, there's also a new button right here to start a new note directly from the front page of the notes app. You probably know that there is the new sleep mode on iOS 14 that can be enabled by going to the health app. So go to health app, go to browse and right here we'll find sleep. Scroll down to sleep schedule right here and enable it just like that you have now enabled sleep mode on your ios 14 device now to set the schedule you can go ahead and tap right there and here will have all the days of the week so you can select and unselect ones that you don't want to include on this schedule so here i can set this schedule right here you can see i have all the days of the week and the weekends right there so tap add and now we're good to go so i have set a sleep schedule for the five days of the week and then for two from the weekend i can go ahead and add another schedule right here so you can see just like that you can add two different schedules of course selecting different days on the files app you now have the ability to rotate images so just 3d touch on an image scroll down here and you have the ability to now rotate any image and if you want to quickly rename a file on the files app just tap just like that on the name and you will be able to go ahead and rename that file as easy as that on the app store if you go to one of the apps or the games you will see at the top now we have all the different informations regarding that app or game right here we have the name of the dev as well you can tap on it and it will show you all the other apps from that dev also if you scroll down here it will show you if it works with your iphone this used to be here before but if you tap right there now it will show you all the different devices that it works on the iphones the ipads all of them will be listed right here with ios 14 you will be able to set an emoji as a profile picture for one of your contacts so you just go to edit the contact and tap right there and now you can go ahead and select any of the emojis and set it basically as a profile picture for your contact also you can choose the letters here and you can also edit them so if it shows here i have a contact name test if it shows just the t right there i can go ahead and basically add other letters just basically customize it any way i want on safari on ios 14 if you go ahead and tap right there at the letters you can see the privacy report right here now under the privacy report you can see the websites that are tracking you and also the trackers right here and you can of course go into more details by tapping right there the arrow and it will show you all the different like trackers that have been prevented from profiling you so that's really really cool also just like on the settings app on safari you can also tap the back button tap and hold and just move like through different layers of a website you can go backwards and you can go forwards as well as easy as that it's very very easy to go forward or backwards on safari with this new feature on voice memos on ios 14 now you have the ability to remove background noises automatically by tapping that little button 
button right there on the left side that's really really useful also we have now folders you can see if we go back here we have all the recordings and favorites right here and if you want to add another folder just tap right there you can create any folder you want and of course organize your voice memos on the settings app if you go to accessibility and go to siri you will see here a button that says show apps behind siri now what this does it makes siri look much much better so you launch siri and you can see right there we have the apps in the background it won't basically like interrupt or anything if you have this disabled then it looks really really ugly you will have just that gray background so keep this enabled it is really really cool now let's go back once more here and go to siri and search and we have siri responses now what you can do here is enable always show siri captions so always will show siri will show on the screen everything that it says so it will be typed on the screen also you have always show speech so it will show everything that you speak also on the screen of your iphone under accessibility you will have here the settings for airpods pro as well and then right here will also find spatial audio so we have a setting here if you enable this basically it says follow iphone it will give you that feeling like you're following the iphone when you're listening to a spatial audio using the airpods pro with iOS 14, Apple has added the incoming calls banners, which look pretty good. So they have been enabled by default, but you can also disable them and get the full screen look, the old school full screen look. So you go to settings, you go to phone, and here we'll have the option to choose between banner and full screen. You have the same for FaceTime calls as well. You can choose banner or full screen. And with iOS 14, you also have the ability to change default apps. So you have, let's say, Safari as a default browser. You can change that to any other app that supports this feature. For example, Google Chrome, you just go to settings, find the browser that you want to use, and here have default browser app. You tap on it and you will be able to change it from here. On the Maps app settings, there are options now for cycling. So you have directions here, and if you go to cycling, you can choose to avoid hills or busy roads. So if you cycle a lot and you want to do this, then you can find this setting right here under the map settings. There have been a lot of changes on the camera settings as well. We're talking about two of them use volume up for burst. So if you want to quickly take burst pictures, you can use the volume up button by enabling it right here. And also you can mirror the front camera by enabling the setting right here. So that is it for this video, guys. These are 50 tips and tricks that I believe every iPhone user on iOS 14 should know. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.